Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about pie graphs. At the end of this video, you must have interpreted data using pie graphs. Another way of presenting data is by means of a pie graphs or circle graphs. A pie graph is a circle divided into pizza slices or pie slices called sectors, which illustrates the parts of a whole. It is easy to compare the different results in a pie graph, while at the same time it is attractive and takes only little space. The size of each slice of a pie depends on the fraction parts to its whole part. Now let's have some example. Imagine you survey your friends to find the kind of movie they like best. And we have the following um, for comedy, four for action, five for romance, six for drama, one and sci-fi, four. We can draw a pie graph to present these results. These are the steps to construct a pie graph. First, Put your data into a table, then add up all the value to get a total. Just like here, 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 4 is equal to 20. So that is our total. It means there are 20 friends that you have surveyed. After that, you will divide each value by the total and multiply by 100 to get a percent. Just like this one. So 40 divided by 20, that will be the fraction. That's 5 over 20, 6 over 20, 1 over 20, 4 over 20. Now we are ready to multiply this one to 100 to get the percent. Let's start with the comedy. That's 4 divided by 20 times 100 is equal to 20 percent next let's have the action 5 over 20 times 100 is equal to 25 percent next 6 over 20 times 100 is equal to 30 percent next 1 over 20 times 100 is equal to 5 percent and lastly 4 over 20 times 100 is equal to 20%. So let's add all of these. That's 20% plus 25% plus 30% plus 5% plus 20% is equal to 100%. Now, to figure out how many degrees for each per slice, correctly called a sector, we will do the following. But of course, we have to remember that a full circle has 360 degrees, so we can do this calculation first. 4 over 20 times 360 is equal to 72 degrees. Or we can just simply do this. 20% of 360 degrees is equal to 72 degrees. Next, for action, that's 5 over 20 times 360 will get 90 degrees or 25% of 360 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Next, for romance, we'll have 6 over 20 times 360 degrees is equal to 108 degrees or simply 30% of 360 degrees is equal to 108 degrees. Next, for drama, that's 1 over 20 times 360 degrees that will give us 18 degrees or 5% of 360 degrees is equal to 18 degrees. And lastly, for sci-fi, that's 4 over 20 times 360 is equal to 72 degrees or simply 20% of 360 is equal to 72 degrees. We can also add 72 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 108 degrees plus 18 degrees and 72 degrees if the total is equal to 
360 degrees. Next, divide the circle as given in the angle. The usual way is to work clockwise, that's 12 o'clock starting with the larger sector. So use your protractor to measure the degrees for each sector. And when you're done, we will expect that you will come up with this kind of pie graph. And based on the circle graph or the pie graph, we can conclude the following. Most of the students like to watch romantic movies. Movies that are drama in nature are least preferred. Comedy and sci-fi movies preferred by two-fifths of your friends being surveyed. And one-fourth of your friends like action movies. We'll have another example. In one of the barangay schools here in Iloilo City, 60 grade 6 students were asked to choose their favorite places to spend their summer vacation. The results were as follows. Boracay Beach, 20. Baguio City, 12. Tagaytay City, 15. Batanga City, 10. Dekak Beach, 3. Draw a pie graph of the given results. We will place our data in a table. And it is here now. We have a total of 60 students being surveyed. Let's find out the fraction of each summer place to visit. Okay, we will just divide each by its total number. That would be 20 over 60, 15 over 60, 10 over 60, 12 over 60, and 3 over 60. This time, since we already have the fraction, we will just multiply the fraction to 100 to get the percent. That would be 20 over 60 times 100. That will give us 33 and 33 hundredths percent. Next, 15 over 60 times 100. That's 25 percent. Next, 10 over 60 times 100. That will give us 16 and 67 hundredths percent. Next, 12 over 60 times 100, that will give us 20%. And 5% for 3 over 60 times 100. If we're going to add all of these, that will give us 100%. To get the number of degrees in each sector, we will just do this. That's 20 over 60 times 360 degrees, or simply... 33 and 33 hundredths percent of 360 is equal to 120 degrees. Next, 15 over 60 times 360 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Next, 10 over 60 times 360 degrees is equal to 60 degrees. Next, 12 divided by 60 times 360 degrees is equal to 72 degrees. Next, 3 over 60 times 360 degrees is equal to 18 degrees. And that will give us a total of 360 degrees. After getting or solving the number of degrees in each sector, we can divide a circle as the given in the angle. The usual way is to work clockwise, that's 12 o'clock starting with the larger sector. Use your projector to measure the degrees in each sector, and we will have this one at the end. And based on the circle graph or pie graph, we can conclude the following. Boracay Beach is the most preferred place by the students to visit during summer vacation. The least preferred place is to visit the Cap Beach. Next, one-fifth of the class loves Buggy City. And lastly, only 5% of the students loves to go and visit the Cap Beach. In constructing a pie chart, we should note the following points. First, to divide the pie into sectors, each angle of sector should be marked off at the center of the pie. Second, each sector of the pie chart should be labeled clearly. And lastly, the pie chart should be given a title. Now, 
it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. We have here the grades in math tests in grade 6 classes. We have the grade A, that's 10%, grade B, that's 25%, that's grade C, that's 50%, grade D, that's 10%, and lastly, grade E, 5%. I have questions for you to answer here. First, which grade did most of the students obtain in math tests? Second, which grades were obtained by equal number of students? Third, which grade did the least number of students obtain? Fourth, what fraction of the pupils got grade A? And fifth, if there were 40 pupils in the class, how many pupils obtained grade B? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you for answering! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!